Hey guys, Tony Gerard for Shawnee College Science in Seconds. Uh, I'm here on a dreary, rainy January day outside the USDA Service Center in Vienna, Illinois, but I found something kind of cool I want to show you here. Look at this. Here's a live worm on the sidewalk. And here's another one. And over here are another two. Now, notice they don't look like a regular earthworm. They're about the same thickness throughout the whole thing, like a piece of horsehair. Well, these guys are called horsehair worms. They're in the phylum nematomorpha, and the old belief used to be that if a hair from a horse's mane or tail laid around out in the water long enough in a puddle or in a water trough, it could become a live worm. Now, part of the belief behind that was that uh, you never saw a baby one of these worms. They always appeared to be, you know, fully horsehair size whenever you saw them. Well, these guys start out life as a parasite inside an arthropod. Uh, around here, the species we have, they seem to be mostly in crickets or praying mantises. Now and then when I've seen a squashed cricket, now and then you'll see one squashed out of it. But anyway, they live the first part of their life as this internal parasite. Then in the fall of the year or into the winter, they burrow out of the cricket or the praying mantis, make their way to a puddle or some other water source where they mate and then die. And, but they've laid eggs first and then next year the eggs hatch, cycle starts over again. So, horsehair worms. Little bit of nature on a really dreary winter day. How cool is that? 